Hey guys, so I am back to show you a full newborn diaper stash. I am completely done buying diapers. Um, like seriously, I'm not buying any more newborn diapers. I feel that um, I have quite enough. I'm trying to maybe wash every two days pushing it to three days um i really don't know what type of system is going to work for baby when baby gets here but i just wanted to show you my full newborn diaper stash i have everything laid out in the crib um i don't have organizers yet so i don't know how i'm going to organize the diapers just yet nothing has been prepped or anything like that just want to show you like a full overview of what I got and then when I prep them and organize everything I'll do that'll be a separate video so yeah, let's get okay I want to start with the pretty much all-in-ones so I showed you these diapers in a previous video of mine these are all THX diapers all of these I got a total of 12 diapers um I don't I'm not pretty I don't think THX has like the name but they're similar to little Joey's and I got as you can see a variety of colors which I absolutely adore I do not know if I'm having a boy or girl so that's exciting the anticipation and everything like that and then um, these are all all-in-ones. And then I have six little Joeys. These were the very first diapers, newborn diapers that I bought. I thought they were so, so cute. These are the, um, I think this color is called Crimson. I'm not sure what color this is, and I'm not sure what color this is. Sorry. I, I'm not good at the names. <laughs> and then I have two Grovias all-in-one which have like a built-in soaker. Like a, a built-in soaker. Like a tongue, basically. Which I guess cuts down on the dry time. So we shall see. So I have two of those. And then up here, I have two all-in-one Stay Dry Imagine Diapers. This is the Trumpet print, and this is the Flutter print. And then I have one newborn fitted, and this is the Lilac. And I'm super pumped to use this. I've never used a fitted diaper, so I'm, I'm really excited. So I have one of those. And then I, as you can see, all of my diapers are snaps. I'm, I'm really not big on the Aplex just because I've, I've had the one size um, Bum Genius and they were Aplex and I bought them second handed and the Aplex, you know, it wasn't too good to begin with when I purchased them. I probably should have said, nah, I'll pass. But um, I was new to cloth diapering, so I really didn't know. Um, but they fray easily, but I just could not have my stash not have one newborn um, bump genius. And this is the mirror print, and how cute is that? It's so tiny, and this is an all-in-one. I only have one because I'm not very friendly with the egg because I don't really care for it. And then up here, I have one, what is this, Charlie Banana. And this is an extra small diaper. It's just a white with the Charlie Banana logo on the back. And this is a pocket diaper. It does have the insert and the inside. It's really soft. I wonder if it's going to stay like that once I prep it. And then over here, I have three Best Bottoms covers. This is called the Malicious. And these ones fit from 6 pounds to 35 plus pounds. So um, right now I'm going to use them as newborn diapers. And I got the, I don't, I don't know if these are newborn 
soakers or um, small, but I do know they're the overnight ones, the overnight ones, the overnight stay dry. So I have nine of those, which is three per shell. So I have the Moolicious shell, the Hedgehog shell, and the Totally Tie-Dye shell. I absolutely love this diaper. How cute is that? I can't wait to see baby in that. It's so cute. And then over here, I have four Imagine diaper covers. This again in, in the Flutter print. The Roar print. And then in the Trumpet print. I really like these two. So. And then this is the Raspberry. And I opened the snaps up to see how big the diaper actually gets. Because it's for a um, bit of baby size 5 pounds to 13, I believe. So that four Imagine newborn diaper covers. And then for the diaper covers, I have 12 unbleached extra small prefolds, which I have not prepped. I, I haven't prepped any of this. And then I opened it up just to see how big it is. So it'll fluff out stuff once I prep it. So I have 12 extra small unbleached cotton Imagine um, prefolds. And then I have 12 white prefolds. These ones fit for, if my camera will focus, 4 to 10 pounds and then this one is 7 to 17 pounds. And then I have one size Imagine pocket diaper that comes with the Imagine microfiber insert. So, and this, uh, this says it fits from 8 to 35 pounds. Another bamboo. I'm not sure if I mentioned that this is bamboo too. Um, a bamboo extra small Nikki's fitted diaper. So, oh, and also I'm gonna use this one too. This is the Perfect Bum Cocolo. I want to say this is the small diaper because they have small, medium, and large. This is a small. I'm gonna use this as a newborn diaper. Because this fits from, I want to say like six pounds up. Whatever this was, Baby TJ's first cloth diaper. So, of course, I'm going to reuse it. And then I just bought a sample pack of the CJ's butter cream. Um, they have five different scents. I like all five of them. There's one I really, really like. Um, for diaper rashes. I did not have diaper rash cream for baby TJ when he was born and we got diaper rash I think twice and I had to go to disposables because I did not have the cloth diaper safe diaper rash cream. Also I got a pack of snappies size one has three in it. Um, I watched a couple of videos and they say that you only need one snappy but then I watched a couple more videos and a lot of moms lose their snappies so I, you know, I tend to lose up two, so I better off getting three. And then this time around, I do plan on cloth wiping. So I bought some cloth wipes, and I'll probably buy one more pack of cloth wipes. That is it. I do still have some from Baby TJ. Um, I thought I wanted to cloth wipe, and then I changed my mind. So I think I want to. I want to say I have like a total of like 15 from Baby TJ. So I'm gonna buy one more pack of these. So cute. This is the alphabet print. Um, so I'm going to buy one more pack just to be on the safe side because I haven't decided if I'm going to cloth diaper while I'm in the hospital. But as you can see, I have more than enough diapers to do so if I wanted to. So this is an overview of all my cloth diapers, all my newborn stash. So, yeah. If you think I'm missing something, Please don't hesitate to let me know and um, again I will do a separate video on how I organized everything once everything is prepped washed and set up and ready for baby to use all right thanks for watching guys